Hi guys, how are you all? I have missed you so much. Um, I have been away for a little while, I know, but I have been preoccupied with other personal matters. So that's why I have not been doing any videos. Today I have a new one for you, a haul video, what I have purchased and added to my collection. So some of you guys have been asking me to do one of these videos on my Instagram page. If you don't follow me, please do check me out. I um, take photos of my perfume bottles on there. I will uh, put the link down below. But I'm going to get through this video very quickly because I have just added so, so, so many. Yeah, so, but first of all, I wanted to show you this book that I received. It's called the Perfume Bible and it's from the Perfume Society. I got this um, on Instagram from their Instagram page that we're having a, a competition or something like that and you had to post a photo and I won one of these books and so I just wanted to say thank you for that. That's a nice way to start off my video. Okay, so I will show you the bottles that I've gotten that are sealed. I have not opened these yet. So I'm going to start from, you know, how it goes, the, the least expensive to the most expensive. So the designer celebrities, no, I don't have any celebrity stuff actually, just designer stuff I'll start with. So this is a Lancôme's Tresor Midnight Rose, Le De Parfum, sealed, not opened yet. The Cartier Le Panther, Panther, a de Parfum. D squared 2 want. I have been so, so interested in trying these. And I finally got a bottle. This is the Pink Ginger. And then I got the want. This is just the regular um, Eau de Parfum. So I have tried these two. They are really, really delicious. They dry down to a lovely vanilla, sweet vanilla floral. Next one I have is a vintage one. It's Magriff by Carvin. Still sealed. I have an open bottle of this one, so that's why I haven't opened this one. I love this. Love it so much. Okay, next sealed bottle is this one. It's the Molinard de Molinard by Molinard. I have a little bottle of this one also. And I'll just show you, it's a cute little one. I think it's a 30 ml bottle. And they're both vintage, vintage ones. Not sure why it's not focusing. So that's why I haven't opened the other bottle yet. Okay, next I have these two. Uh, they're called Al Haramain Dahab, which is, uh, it's a pure perfume and it means gold, pure gold or gold. Um, I tried these in the store and fell in love. It's a delicious, delicious vanilla and almond kind of uh, gourmand oil. They're both atars. The next one I have is Miss Dior Cherie. Le, le. Um, still sealed. I have tried this one. It's so beautiful. It's not sweet. Uh, like the original and I bought myself a backup bottle of the Kelly Kalesh um, This is the Eau de Toilette. I have the Eau de Parfum and this is the backup of the Eau de Toilette I only got it because it was ridiculously cheap at one of the pharmacies that I was um, going to and I also got myself two backups of the Dolce and Gabbana the original one which looks like I've got it somewhere yes which looks like that and this is my scent of the day so I'm wearing this one today and I smell stunning it's just a beautiful beautiful very strong aldehydic uh, woody floral it's beautiful very unisex as well 
Next, I bought myself a few bottles of this gorgeous fragrance. It's the Habanita de Molinard in the 100ml bottle. This is a vintage bottle. And I kid you not, I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, six bottles. And I have two in my wardrobe that I use. And I bought these two as well. These are 30ml bottles each and I have been using this one currently because the scent is absolutely gorgeous in this bottle. I haven't opened these ones because as I said I've got open ones. But this one is just gorgeous. Mm, it, oh, it's a vintage sheep. Um, it's got some kinky stuff it's a little bit anomalic it's dirty with vanilla it's just glorious it's so good so I'm very very happy to have found these bottles in particular I was traveling and I happened to find them so I grabbed all that they had at the store okay they were my sealed bottles so moving along I will show you these and then we'll get to my designer perfumes. This is the Eau de Merville uh, by Hermes and I bought it in this big box. It's huge. It's too big for what it is I think. <laughs> I think that's a 50ml bottle and you get the body lotion. So that's that. And then I bought another set put it here um, from Oscar de la Renta and it looks like this I've not opened it yet you get the body lotion and the 100 ml Oscar de la Renta eau de toilette don't know why it's not yes there we go and it's still sealed so I'm not going to open it it looks like that that's the bottle um, only reason I got this again, it was super, super cheap at my chemist. The whole package was 18 Australian dollars. Now that's really, really cheap for here. Okay, on to the designer stuff. I've just opened them and took them out of their boxes. So, Dahlia Devine by Givenchy. Very, very sexy smelling perfume. Love it so much. Just doesn't really last on me, so I have to overspray. The Hermes um, Eau Claire de Merville, Merville. I don't even know how to pronounce that one, so sorry if I butchered it. And then we've got the other one, the L'Ombre de Merville. I love these bottles. I love how they stand so pretty and the fragrances are just gorgeous they're my favorite from the Hermes line um, a big bottle of the Guerlain Mon Guerlain I think yep Eau de Parfum this is new wish newish because they did come out with a, another one after this one um, it's nice it's sweet it's floral it's feminine it's it's pretty it's a very modern scent. Um, this one, So Elixir by Yves Rocher. I got this as a gift from my mother-in-law. when She was traveling and she also got me the Rose Oud because I wanted it. I told her to get it for me if she can because we don't have it here. And I'm so glad she did because it's so, so good. It's a good rose and oud fragrance so do check that one out if you haven't next one i got was cinema by yves saint laurent now i've heard that this is being discontinued but then i see it around so i'm not sure what's going on with that one uh next one i got was the ysl by yves saint laurent this is the L Eau de Parfum. I love this bottle. It's really sexy. Okay, 
Um, and then I got this. This is another beautiful bottle. It's the Roberto Cavalli Essenza. This was a limited edition and I hunted it down because I know that there's an almond note in there. The main note is supposed to be almond and it's so delicious. It's not a gourmand fragrance, but it's still got that almond note in it. So it's a floral almond vanilla fragrance. I absolutely love that one. Another limited edition one that I had to hunt down was the Eudemoiselle de Givenchy Absolue d'Orange. Orange or I don't know. Look, I'll show you. I'm not sure if that's going to. You know what? I'll just show you the box. <laughs> because I don't know how to pronounce it. There we go. So it's a limited edition and I think this was only for the Middle Eastern countries. I'm not sure. And it's so, so beautiful. It is very, very exquisite. There's like an incense, woody... Um, sweet floral delicate vanilla i think orange blossom i'm not sure very very beautiful fragrance um next one i got was also from yves rocher yves rocher uh this one the amber one that's been discontinued it's a beautiful sweet feminine amber um and then this is this is an oil. This is Bulgari Omnia Indian Garnet. This is an oil. And it's super, super nice. So you open it and you just dab it on. I think it's an oil. I have no idea. I actually don't even think it's an oil anymore. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's 100 mil and it was really cheap to buy. So I got it. I'm not really much of an oil person or lotions, but it was cheap. Next one is a special one. It's the Un Fleur de Chanel by Chanel. This has been discontinued a while ago, and it's a beautiful, beautiful aquatic floral, white floral. It's a watery aquatic white floral, and it's super pretty, very hard to find, so I'm glad I have that one. Um, next one is a very, very cheap one. It's by Romeo Gigli. Sorry, it's not picking up my... I'm using a different phone, so I'm not sure how the quality is. The only thing about this is the lid. I think it's... Oh, it's stuck in there. I don't know if you can tell. It's the lid, this piece here that goes on here... Is stuck inside so the lid's crappy but this one I love 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 to wear before I go to bed it's a spicy skin scent so it's a musk it's a very light musk and spicy skin scent uh, next one I got was another vintage one this is cabotine this is very beautiful this is a beautiful beautiful vintage perfume um, it's just a classic. It's a classic smelling 80s style perfume. And some people have said that it reminds them of the um, Christian Dior poison. Oh, I forgot the green, you know, the green bottle. And it's, it is similar. It, it's that kind of perfume. It's not the same perfume, but it's that kind, that same family. So this is super pretty. And I would hunt down the um, vintage bottle if you were to... Um, find it because it's it's actually really really worth it and it's not that expensive the vintage ones another vintage I got was this one it's called a touch of class by Fabergé um, it's a 50 ml spray cologne I got this from my mother-in-law because she knows I I like vintage perfume so she gave it to me so that was really nice of her uh, the next one I got was by uh, from um, Molinard. It's called Nomala and I just wanted to show you the packaging because it's so cute. I have never seen this packaging before so when I saw it on the shelf I thought 
thought I should buy it. And I like the size. I do love the size. Um, I think this is a 30ml bottle. And it's a really unique scent. I'm, I remember it's got a banana note in it. If I remember correctly, I'm not, no, actually, maybe that was another one. I'm not sure, but it's a really nice scent and it's just too cute. Now, moving along to my niche perfumes. So I finished from the designers and the more cheaper things. Um, so now we're going to talk about some niche things. I have not opened these two bottles because I recently received this one so I have and I, I've got a, a large decant of it so I'm using that one at the moment it's the Lubin 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 Acad one of my favorite amber fragrances guys if you don't know what this scent is please check it out it is a gorgeous fragrance to wear in the colder months um, it's a spicy just resinous just beautiful i cannot explain how good this fragrance is it's absolutely stunning it's a bit pricey but if you can get a decant or something like that then do so because it's absolutely beautiful 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 fragrances one of my favorites so that's that one and then we have i haven't even taken it out of the bag yet because i do have some samples of this one that's why i have not opened it yet this house is a new Australian house. It, they're called Fort and Manley, and they have, I think, seven fragrances in their collection at the moment, and they are all gorgeous. They are beautiful, beautiful fragrances, and I did some work for them currently on their website, so I did the pictures, their photos of their bottles, and so I, I did fiddle around with the bottles and they are just spectacular they are gorgeous heavy beautiful bottles beautiful fragrances extremely um excellent quality and i am hoping to add every single one of their new fragrances into my collection i have this one at the moment the harem harem rose and it's a spectacular rose and if you know me you know that I'm not really into rose perfumes so for me to actually say this is spectacular then it means that I absolutely do love it gorgeous stuff guys um, I will link them down below so you can check them out um, absolutely gorgeous and I'm actually thinking of doing a video based on their perfume so if you want to see that just let me know okay the next Thing I got let's do this one this is the Mugler um, what is this from the less Le exceptions line and I just wanted to show you the box first because it's so cool it's so so heavy and then you take this out you gotta be careful with this one because it's you can stab someone <laughs> and then open the box like this and you get this beautiful bottle now I'm not sure if you've watched my samples video of this line I did say that I was going to buy one of them and the super floral floral one and I think this is it because I got two uh, no this is the care impertinent <laughs> it's hard because they don't have the names on here which they I think they should um, but this is the leather I think it's got yeah it's the leather one it's so 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 good love it and then I got this one the super floral this is the one that I said I loved in my um, review video Okay, so moving along, I got the Oud Essential from Guerlain. Beautiful stuff. This is one, I like this one better than the Santal Royale. 
it's a dry kind of oud, but it's really smoky and mysterious. It's woody. It's beautiful. Really, really good stuff. I really like that one. And then I got the Ambre Eternal. Gorgeous stuff. Beautiful, sweet. It's more um, feminine than the other two. Um, so, so beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. One of my favorite ones from Guerlain. Um, another Guerlain I got was the Neroli Autre Noir in this new kind of packaging. So they've changed the caps on these, which is good because everyone was complaining about the old packaging. Now, I'm not sure if you're aware of the older packaging. It was in the golden box. Now they come like this. In It's a dark purple kind of a box. Oh, this is the Joyous Tuberose. So I got that as well. And you open it up. And you get a beautiful box. I actually prefer these over the gold ones. I do. I love these ones but much better. So you open it up and you get the bottle that sits nicely in there. Beautiful fragrances. Um, Very subtle but long lasting on my skin at least. Um, so I do love those ones. Okay, moving Along we have a few from Jo Malone. This is their newer offering. I just want to get that on camera properly to show you the beauty of this bottle. How gorgeous is this bottle, guys? Beautiful stuff. Now this one is the Velvet Rose and Oud Rich Extract Extract de Parfum. So this is the Extract de Parfum. And it came out this year. It, this one came out in the x -trait. So did this one. The Tuberose Angelica. And the Bergamo and... Something else. I forgot what it is. Bergamo and something else. I'm sorry. I forgot. Um, I love these two. I didn't really think the other one was... Um, any different to the original intense version so I didn't buy it but I bought these ones they are amazing 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 they smell similar to the originals but much stronger it's they've got like a, a more of a kick to them very good stuff gorgeous okay in this bag we have some Yves Saint Laurent products and I'll just show you this one. It's the Caftan from the Le Vestier de Parfums collection. I love this. I tried all of them and I fell in love with this one the most. It's a beautiful incense vanilla perfume and it's got A magnetic lid gorgeous stuff pricey but it's a 125 ml bottle so yeah and they gave me this bag which I thought was cool and you get a booklet about all the other ones that they have um, very nice range. I really like them. More from YSL. I got Noble Leather. Still not opened. Majestic Rose. And Splendid Wood. Um, I bought these because the sales assistant told me that they were going to change the packaging. And I love this packaging gorgeous stuff and I was scared that they might change the formula so I grabbed them I've got the other ones as well the um the rest of them so 
I've got the main ones that I love in my collection now. So that was good. Oh, I forgot this. The Jo Malone. This is the other Jo Malone. I wanted to show you this box actually because now they make the intense versions in the 50 ml bottles, which is good because, well, it's good for me. Um, but it's so cute. I'm not used to it like this. This is the Mer and Tonka, the new one that came out by Jo Malone. The only thing I don't like is how they squish it into one of these boxes. And, I mean, look at that. That's a huge gap. And it's an empty gap. And I don't really like it. And you know what? If we were to put this big bottle in there as well, you'd still get that gap. You know? it's I don't like the insides of these boxes. Jo Malone, do something about these because we don't like them. <laughs> well, I don't like them. So I find the boxes a little bit odd. But as for the scent, the scent is beautiful. It's delicious. It's a myrrh, spicy, resinous, very delicious vanilla fragrance. Next black bottle I have is Jeannie Dubois by Kiko Macheri. It's a beautiful woody Sweet, very sweet woody floral. Uh, next, black bottle. We're going on the black bottles now. This is the Ambre Eccentrico by um, Giorgio Armani, the Privé collection. Absolutely gorgeous fragrance. It's a chewy, um, spicy, myrrh, smoky, incense kind of amber. It's absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorite ambers as well. Next, I have the Le Labo Lys 41. And this is a beautiful lily and white floral and vanilla fragrance. So that is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I'll do... Just got to get to the other side. Okay, the next one is from... Who recognises these? I don't have many of these in my collection because they don't really suit me. I don't really like many of them. They're from Montel and the bottles are cool. I like the bottles. I like the colours. I just don't really get along with the fragrances. But this one I love. It's the Intense So Iris Extrait de Parfum in the 100ml bottle. This just came out this year. It's a beautiful musky... Um, iris kind of a little a hint of iris actually it's not really you know your powdery iris but it's it's a sweet feminine musky um, iris kind of a floral fragrance okay the next one is from M. Michalif Michalif don't know how to pronounce that it's the Oud Gourmet love this fragrance I had a decant of this a while ago and I loved it and so I bought a bottle I think they've changed either the formula or the bottle alone I'm not sure because it is very different now um, and scent wise I think my decant was a little bit different to this one so I'm not sure what's going on there but either way they are both beautiful okay moving along we have a Serge Luton's Shergi this is a beautiful tobacco, spicy, yummy fragrance. Um, they have changed their bottles as well. Now they come in the 100ml bottles. You cannot buy the 50ml bottles anymore. So if you're wanting a fragrance from Serge Luton's and you don't want to pay, you know, the massive price um, that they've got on their 100ml bottles now, um, you should try and get these. Because you can still find them around. Okay, guys, I better be quick because I have so many, so much more to show you. I can't believe how much more I have. Okay, so this is a boutique um, set. Gorgeous set. Comes in this beautiful box and you open it up and you get... You choose the fragrances that you want and they put them in these gorgeous spray 
bottles. So I got the 34, the Oido L'Ombre Dance Low, which is so unique and nice. Tamdeo and the Vetiveros. No, Vetivero. Vario. So, and you get a little pouch for it. So, perfect for travel. I love this packaging. Next, I got these four creeds. The Asian Green Tea, Vetiver and Geranium. Sed Blanc. Aberdeen Lavender. Love these. Um, they are on the lighter side. Well, Sed Blanc is and Asian Green Tea is a little bit lighter than these two. But they are so so nice to wear in the um, hotter months. Next, I have fragrances from the Oliver & Co. company. And first, I'll show you this pack that I bought. And it just it just comes in a black box. And they are individual boxes of their fragrances. And they're in 16ml um, spray bottles. So I think that's pretty cool. This is all of their range. This is discontinued, so you can't find this anymore. And they were having a sale. They always have great sales on their website. And they had these um, heavily discounted. So I got Rosina, Ginsense, Mousse, and Mousse 2, plus the Neb Nebula 1. This one, I just wanted to show you the packaging because I think it's cool. Um... So you open it like that and the bottle is super cute and they've got a number two as well and this one was the Eau de Toilette it has since been discontinued and now you can find them in Eau de Parfum next one is from Crabtree and Evelyn um, Ottoman Rose this is so, 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 so beautiful. So beautiful. It smells very smoky, very rich, very oody, um, exotic, woody, beautiful, beautiful rose. It's just spectacular. It's so sexy. It's, it really is. A really, really good stuff. So highly recommend this one. What am I doing? Yes. Okay, and I forgot to show you these ones. The Narciso by Narciso Rodriguez. This is the Eau de Parfum. And the Lapsalu. I got these. I love the new Narciso fragrances that have been coming out recently. I really do. Okay, next we have some Zoologist. So, we have Macaque. Hummingbird. Nightingale and Civet. I'll just show you one of the bottles and they open from the side and they open like that and you can read some info on there about them. There's like a golden mirror thing happening at the back and the bottles are just absolutely gorgeous. Very, very nice bottles. Very heavy glass. The scents are unique, beautiful stuff. I, I don't have time to tell you guys about this house and what they're about, but do check them out. Um, most, I know that most people don't really, can't wear them, but they're just good to check out anyway. So, so I've just made room for more perfumes. Uh, this is by Molinard as well. This is a limited edition, 160 packaging is just beautiful um, this is I think made for their birthday or something like that a very unique smell very nice very likable fragrance discontinued unfortunately next I have Carolina Herrera confidential you know how much I love this range don't you guys um, so far I have every single bottle in her Eau de Parfum bottle because she just brought out an Eau de Toilette set and I'm not planning to purchase those. I'm more concerned about the Eau de Parfums. 
So, oops, what was I doing? I'm showing you the Carolina Herreros. Okay. I got two, the gold incense, which came out this year. Okay. Just the bottles themselves are just absolutely beautiful. Gold incense. It's a very, 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 very sweet incense one. It's not dry or you know it's very sweet and this one oh this one was a killer to find you cannot find this one you just can't you can't find this one it's i think they've just had it in like one country and i had to get someone that was so nice um they sent it to me so it's the carolina herrera 35th anniversary numbered edition it's just beautiful it's a tuberose white floral fragrance spectacular spectacular scent oh just beautiful it's so so beautiful beautiful stuff okay moving along we've got another one i forgot to show you from oliver and co perfumes this is vetiveris uh the barber edition it's discontinued and the packaging is cool. You open it like that and it's a huge bottle. I don't remember what was there. I'm sorry. <laughs> and it's a huge, huge bottle of a beautiful vetiver. It's a fruity vetiver smoky fragrance. I really, really love it. Next we have... Oh, it's a sealed one. I haven't even opened it yet. It's Musk by Mo Mona, Mona de Oreo. This is in the original packaging because they've changed the packaging. So I haven't even opened this one. I forgot all about it. I'm not sure what to tell you about that. Next one I want to show you is the Lalique Noir Premier Fruits de Movement. I wanted to show you the box on this because it's so cool. Beautiful box, beautiful packaging. The fragrances themselves in this collection are not spectacular, to be honest. They're not spectacular, but the packaging is. So that's the box. It's so cool. It looks like a Killian box, if you're aware of those ones. Um, so you open it, you press it, and you open it. It's like a coffin box. And you get this gorgeous, gorgeous bottle. So packaging-wise, it's just brilliant. Beautiful stuff. Really, really, really good stuff. The fragrance, this one, is a very, very sweet, sweet, super, super sweet, syrupy, sweet fruity fragrance it's a fruity floral that's all it is so um that's what it is but i love the packaging okay next i have some amouage perfumes to show you i bought lilac love i'll just quickly show you it like that 100 ml bottle beautiful stuff very nice and then i got blossom love the packaging is just outstanding on this one. Beautiful, 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 beautiful packaging. And I don't even like pink, but I love this. So that's Blossom Love. And then I got Bracken. Again, packaging. They do make beautiful packaging. I don't know if you can see all those sparkles on there. Beautiful stuff. And the latest one is the Figment. Look how stunning that bottle is and the box. Outstanding. Beautiful. This is a nice floral. I actually really love this one. It's a beautiful floral. Um, and then I picked up the Opus 10. This one was missing from my Opus collection. Now I have them all. This is a very unique take on rose. It's very, very unique, very different. Not for everyone, not for everyone, that's for sure. Um, and then the 
I have the um, Myths Man. I ended up buying the Myths Man. I like this one more than the female version. Um, so I got myself the men's one. So that was my amouage that I've recently added. Now I have all of, I'm up to date with the female one and the Opus collection. Okay, next we have a few from Roger Dove. Ro not Roger. I always say Roger, but I think his name is Roger. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, this is Scandal. This is a vintage bottle of Scandal. I love it so much. So I have the regular bottle and I picked up the vintage bigger bottle. And then I bought the Oud crystal parfum because if you buy the original one it's a really dark color and it might stain your clothes that's what I was told that that's why they've changed them into crystal but so I got that one gorgeous gorgeous beautiful I love everything about this fragrance Roger makes the most exquisite perfumes I've ever smelt um, beautiful stuff guys and then I got this one, also by Roger Dove. This is Reckless Eau de Parfum in the big, big 100ml bottle. And also from Roger. It feels so weird to say Roger. not Because you read it and you think Roger, but it's not. <laughs> anyway, um, this one is Creation E. So this is Enigma. That's why it's E, Creation E, because there was a thing that where they had to rename it for the American market. I'm not sure. But this is um, Enigma, Pour Femme Parfum. Stunning. This is Peaches and Cream. Um, it's a beautiful, it's got like a, a, a drink vibe, like Peaches and, and Cream drink. It's so delicious. So that one is that. And then I bought the, um, what is this? The V by Clive Christian. C Clive Christian V. I think that's an oriental one. And then I got the Clive Christian X for women. This one smells exactly like Gucci Rush. So... But it's, it's on a, a different level, obviously, but it, it does. It actually reminds me of, of Gucci Rush. Now, I've just got a few more to go. Sorry, guys, this is so long. I know, I know. Um, I just wanted to show you this one before I showed you my Fragrance Du Bois collection, the new ones I bought. This is Chanel, and I did share this on my Instagram page. Again, if you haven't seen my Instagram page, please go and check it out. This is from Chanel. Obviously, oh my god, it's so heavy. Okay. <laughs> it's heavy because it's got... And this was a gift. This was a gift from my husband. From my gorgeous husband. Okay. So, it comes like this, right? I'm not sure if you've seen one of these boxes before. And you open it up. It's just spectacular. Every time I see this, I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. Look at that, guys. Look at that. This is the Coco Mademoiselle Parfum. In this crystal, crystal bottle. This is the 200... And 25 ml bottle of pure parfum. Look at that. This is enormous. It's gigantor. I have not even opened it yet. Um, I'm too scared to open it, to be honest. It's huge. It's huge. I will forever cherish this gift. This is like oh, the most beautiful thing anyone could receive right guys isn't he the best so that one so finally I have a few fragrances from the house of 
fragrance Dubois, my favorite house. I just wanted to show you the packaging on this one first because it's just oh, outstanding. So that's the box, right? It opens up like that. And you open it up and you get a booklet here. And look at that. Isn't that just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Gorgeous stuff, guys. And I recently travelled to my favourite boutique in KL, in Malaysia. It's in the Star Hill Gallery, the Fragrance Dubai Boutique. And I purchased quite a few from them. And I'll just tell you which ones I've got. I added to my collection. This is Oud Noir Intense. Um, Oud Violet Intense. Gorgeous fragrance. Gorgeous, all of them. I just love this house so much. Um, and then I've got Oud Vert Intense. So these ones were missing from my collection. The... And now I have all of them. I have all the Oud ones. Um, and then from this collection, this is the, um, they don't have Oud in them. I got Santal Complet because I fell in love with it. It's a coconutty, woody, kind of a, like a gourmand kind of a, a scent. And Petal, Petal de Cashmere. Beautiful, musky kind of a fragrance. Um, and then I got these ones. These ones were are very, very hard to find because they're not sold in all of their boutiques. So this is the Parisian Oud. Stunning, stunning fragrance. And they come in 100ml bottles. Amber Intense. Gorgeous. I, I just showed you this, didn't I? Oh my gosh. You know why? Because I have another Amber Intense here. That's why I wanted to show you this packaging. This is the Amber Intense. It's such a cute bottle. This is a 15ml bottle. Um, and I actually got received this as a gift from Fragrance Dubois on their Instagram page. So go check them out. Um, it was for a photography kind of a you win a prize thing. But I didn't win the prize. But they were kind enough to send me a bottle um, of that one and I also have this one this is really 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 hard to find it's limited edition and it's not sold everywhere it's their newest offering and it only comes in a 15 ml bottle this bottle here same packaging and box as this one um, it's the Oud Extrait and it's a spray form of their oil, of their oud oil. Very, 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 very expensive stuff, but just brilliant. It's very nice to kind of layer with the fragrances themselves. And I think that's all, guys. I hope I haven't... Um, I have a feeling that I have not included all of them. I'm not sure. I've, I've still got a few that are coming um, by mail to me. So this, this is not all of the my in, entire um, haul. But I will do another video showing you guys what else I bought. Maybe next month. Um, but I think this is it. Yeah. So thank you so, so, so much for watching guys and for your ongoing support. Um, I think this video was cut into two because I just realized that now it's 19 minutes or 18. So the other one must have gone on forever. So they've, my phone just cut it into two. So it's going to be two parts. Sorry about that. I know my videos are so long. I know, I know, I know. Um, and yeah. So tell me what scent of the day you have on today what are you wearing and what are you currently loving at the moment i have a lot of new loves so I'm, I'm not sure if i should do another video on that i have a lot of new loves as you can see um i have a lot of new perfumes to love um and yeah 
thank you so much guys i really appreciate you watching me again <laughs> anyway take care um and have a great day or night i'll catch you next time bye bye